Yeah. All right, weight is off. What do we got? Oh! Oh, he broke off. No, I should. Well, what a beautiful day we have out here today. You know what beautiful day means, right? It means boat day. And yes, our special guest, the one and only, your very favorite, Dan, will be joining us today. And I've had an extremely busy work day. It's 12 o'clock. I probably got about another three hours of work to do. So I told Dan to come over around 3 p.m. So it's gonna be a late day of fishing. We're gonna run out to the patch reefs, try to catch some live bait, and then we're gonna head right off the reef's edge and drift for some mutton snapper and whatever else might bite our hooks. It just gets dirtier and dirtier down here. I really gotta do some spring cleaning. It is almost that time for spring cleaning. But uh, where's that reel? This guy. Boy, oh boy, am I excited to use the Captain 8000 from PC Fun. I've been extremely excited to use this reel. I think it's gonna be the perfect offshore reel for bottom drifting for big muttons, and we should set it up. This reel says it can hold 280 yards of 60 pound braid, which is an ungodly amount of line, but I don't have any 60 pound braid. All I have, I have this big spool of 80 pound braid, which is mega, mega, mega overkill for that reel. I would like to put like 40 pound braid on here, but uh, I don't have any, but I am going to run to the store and maybe I can get some, cause I gotta go get some fuel. <sighs> gotta get that fuel, baby. All filled up. Well, that one was empty, but these are all full. Got the gas. Let's go. Just got some gas and this lady came up to me at the gas station and told me her son, has been a huge fan of my channel since he was three years old and he's now nine years old and he wants to become a boat builder when he gets older. That's a six year subscriber. So he's been a subscriber since the beginning. That is awesome. Home sweet home, baby. All right, time for these arms to get put to work. Whew. These are six gallon jugs, by the way. Ooh, yep. Put those there for now and i got look what i got in here one i got a new bait knife you can never have enough bait knives and then i got i should probably go inside to show you this whoo this table is supposed to be clean at all times what is going on what is happening where's my maid that's right i don't have one damn it so i got 40 330 yards of 40 pound j braid dark green this is a, it's kind of like Power Pro, but just a little bit cheaper. That's what I'm gonna slap on this guy. Boom, boom. And for the Carbon X 4000, this PC fun reel right here. This is the 20 pound Andy line that I, this is a spool I found in a back corner of something. I've probably had it for like 10 or 15 years. And it just has a lot of memory and it's 20 pound test. Not a good line to spool this with. So I'm gonna take all this line off and replace it with 15 pound suffix line. Okay, this mono capacity, 215 yards of 12 pound mono. I meant to buy a 12 pound, not 15 pound. Ah, screw it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the 15 pound on here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn the camera off while I contemplate this situation. While I contemplate my real situation, start gassing up the boat you know if you think about loading the boat up as just a workout it makes everything so much nicer it's like i'm killing two birds with one stone all right so i'm not sure if that's gonna work in this it kind of works reel hooked up got the line there we go there we go now it should be able to hold this entire thing a j braid 330 yards of 40 pound braid. That should 
that should all fit on there and that is a lot of line we can do some serious fishing today with all that line i think dan should be getting here shortly gonna find a a rod to slap this reel on then we're gonna put about probably like 40 or 50 feet of a 30 pound mono leader at the end of that so there's like a nice mono end piece and the weight's gonna go where the braid and the mono meet that's where we clip our weight on and then like 40 50 feet from that is where the bait is at the end of the mono leader and we just drift that on the bottom right out here off the keys reef anywhere between like 100 feet deep all the way out to like 250 300 feet deep this method works real good all right this is going to take me a while jeez there's something therapeutical about spooling up a reel listening to your boat fill up soon we're going to be offshore the roller coaster ride is over you may now exit to your left holy sexy mama look at that just take let's just admire that for a second this bad boy is going to catch us a big fish today i picked out this rod right here i don't know if this is going to be the best rod to use but it's a uh, rated for 20 to 40 pound braid 65 pounds or 65 pound braid so it's got a very strong backbone and it does have a kind of a flimsy tip this is like a medium heavy rod right here probably overkill for a spinning reel but for getting fish off the bottom this rod has a lot of punch it really like it's got that backbone to pull fish right off the bottom so i think this could be a good setup it looks good damn that looks yep mm-hmm damn night rider Woo, baby all right now we're gonna put on like 50 feet of this 30 pound just mono leader nothing special oh and i decided i'm not gonna spool this rod with the 15 pound suffix i'm gonna wait till i can get some 12 pound every time i put on something i didn't want to put on a rod i always regret it so i'm gonna bring the captain 2000 reel out there 10 pound mono on here extreme light action if we do catch a fish on the top like a kingfish or something on this rod it's going to be a crazy wild ride <laughs> we'll see if that happens probably just going to bring those two rods this is an easy day of fishing you know it's a nice easy day i love having my own rig shopping station got me some size four rod circle hooks those will be perfect for muttons and i also get some stinger tips just in case we run into something toothy like a kingfish out there. I'm so mad at myself right now. I just found a full freaking 1500 yard spool of 30 pound Power Pro. Oh, I just spent like $27 on this 40 pound, but I would have totally put on some 30 pound. Damn. Grab my little tackle box. I put all my fishing rigs in my tackle box. Almost ready to go. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. The boat is back. The boat is back. I'm so what up, dog? How you doing, yeah, brother? Pretty good, man. <laughs> We're excited, man. Me too. Ah, all right, good deal. Is it, is it out there now? All right, I got some ice and shit. Yeah, let's start carrying some stuff. Looking good. Yes. Back in all of her glory, she's shiny and white. All of her, and she is shiny. And white. Yep. Oh, I need to get the uh, the bally hoop. Remember me? You know what? I'm gonna grab some weedless squid. The black and purple. Black and purple. If there's tuna. Yeah. Or bonita. I'm telling you that. Yep. That, uh, the bonita. They bonita. Hit it immediately. I brought some squid and shrimp. Oh, I did too. Okay. Oh, you did? Yeah, there's some squid in there too. Oh, nice. See, I was gonna be like, we got nothing, but we do. Well, there's a possibility of mahi being out there too. Yeah. There's supposed to be a lot of this weeds out there, like sargassum stuff. Mm-hmm. There is a little breeze. Yeah, just keep going. Just start. Go just on. a little bit of, you know, it's like, oh. Oh, you guys are going out? Yeah. Will she turn on? Oh, there's a question. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The battery is very strong. I put a brand new one in there and I have a backup fully charged brand new battery. Oh, the, the big beast? Oh, okay. And then I got a third battery. Oh yeah, low oil. That's, that's what I was forgetting. Okay. Well, I better put some oil in it. Yeah. We probably need some of that. I'm gonna give her the whole gallon. Let her chuggle it. 
down the hatch. The best is when this happens offshore and you gotta pour oil in it while there's waves. All right, fingers crossed. All right. I put it on the low battery to start. It does sound good, you know? Someone should definitely spend 25 grand to take this off my hand. What a deal, what a deal. All right, turn everything on. That is the sound of sweetness. Are you happy? Are you happy? As long as it keeps making that Are sound, happy? I'll be very happy. <laughs> yep. All right, I think we're... All right, we have almost next to nothing, so it should be a good trip. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Okay, turn it off. Let it just mellow out for a second. All right, now we should be able to get on plane, no problem. Life, I can tell. <laughs> that is a massive coral head down there. Oh, yeah. See, it would be nice to just go swimming here. Yeah, like not to go get anything. Just to, just yeah, just it. just swim here. That says no lobstering, though, right? I, I think that's what it says. I'm gonna get on the roof. Okay. And I'm gonna look for ballyhoo. All right. I wanted to see that coral again. Oh, it's right on the left side. Yeah. It's massive. There's got to be, right here, right? yeah. There's got to be a grouper under there. Look at this ledge. It just a massive ledge. There's got to be some lobster in there. That's some good looking corals down there. Oh, it's, it's getting me all wet up here. Watch out down there. Oh, it says danger. Okay. You know what? Maybe on a day of... Uh... Danger shallow reef. That's what it says. So maybe on a day when the, when the, when the tide isn't up as much yeah. as it is. Oh, so we can lobster here. Uh, we're <coughs> oh, yeah. We got to come out here one day. We should come out here like soon. <laughs> yeah. I think, how many feet is this? Pretty shallow. It's, we're in like 10 feet of water. There's a lot of barracuda. I see like 20 barracuda. Do you have a school of them? Yeah, a ton of them. Oh my God, there's so many of them. Big oh. barracuda, another one. Look at that. <laughs> it's so nice just looking at the reef. <laughs> we just forget that we're supposed to go fishing. We just end up hopping in the water and floating around. <laughs> I think I just saw a turtle out there. Yeah, turtle. Oh, yeah. Kind of become like re-familiarized with the tank, get comfortable. Look at this ledge right here. Look at that. Woo! Yeah. That goes from like... All the way around. Ooh, you could probably crawl under that. That whole, all the way around. Nice. Yeah, there is some bait darting around. So if we just put the chum bag out and right. drive it around for a minute and then anchor up, we sh they should get behind the boat, I think. My um, chum net is severely chum. lacking in a... Uh, Look at the other one. The other one's better. Looks a little broken. Tournament Chum Master Blue tournament, Label. Man, tournament. tournament grade. Yeah. We're tournament fisher. We're, we're tournament fishing, Dan. All right. We got a little bit of chum. Nice. You got yourself a little lemoncello. A little lemoncello. I'm going to get me a flavored drink too. Beach plum. You know, while we wait for the ballyhoo to show up... Mm -hmm. I might rig up one of my rods. We kind of got a lot of riding on if we get some ballyhoo or not. Today? Yeah, I feel like without live ballyhoo, oh, yeah, we're gonna be that. struggling. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, ballyhoo. Get behind the damn boat. All right, the anchor has been thrown because we have a nice slick now behind us, so maybe they're all gonna just come right. And a, and a little current, current's nice. Yep, got a nice current. I feel good. All right, I tied some 30 pound mono leader to my bottom drifting rig. I'm gonna go pretty light action today on my bottom rig, 30 pound. 
All right, I'm just gonna tie a circle hook on my rig and then we'll go out a little further. I'm gonna be a good boy and use a circle hook. Ooh, that's a sharp hook. All right, my drifting rod is ready. Ready to go. Now we just need some live ballyhoo. And we got nothing behind the boat. Hold on, hold on, I'm hold seeing it. flashing. Hold it. One, there's ballyhoo. Okay. Is that one ballyhoo? <laughs> is it, no, there's two, I see two. two. Okay, there's one ballyhoo for sure. Two, three, we need a multiplier. Yeah. To the power of 10. Okay, there's, shake, shake, shake. there's a bunch of them. They've been frozen for so long. I'm gonna chuck that down there and see if something eats it. Yeah, you chuck out a squid. I'll chuck out a little uh, Garmino. I put a little pinch on weight on here. Get it to the bottom. Go give me something. I command you. Yeah, let's pull that bag in and put it in this bucket maybe. And I mean, there's like three Ballyhoo back there. We don't got time for that. Yeah, all three of them are going to the same time. Yeah. Right. Good. We gotta find a better ballyhoo spot. On the hunt again. Where are them damn ballyhoo at? Holy baby mama drama. I saw thousands and thousands of ballyhoo. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be very good. Got some Bermuda chubs, huh? Ooh, are you gonna use that piece right there? I was not going, if you'd like to. I'll, to. I'll take that piece right there and I'll put it on this hook. I just took Dan's finest piece of finest. squid, the, the head of the tentacles. Little number two circle hook, little snap on weight. It's gonna go straight down right into a fish's mouth. Just gonna chuck that back right over here. Plop. We should have Ballyhoo behind the boat in, in like 30 seconds. Maybe less. Ah, uh, there's a lot of chubs eating our chum. Oh, something grabbed my squid. Okay, here we go. I'm on! Nice. Oh! No, it took me to the rocks. Hold on, might be able to get it out though. Oh, I've, I feel them in there. Oh, I only got 10 pound test on here. I'm gonna give him some slack. Maybe he'll uh, come out. Oh, I think I got him out. Yes, I got him out. Got him out, got him out, got him out. Ooh. A nice little grunt, a very yellow one. Grunt ran you in. Wow, he's super yellow. Lucky guy, I'm gonna let him go. <laughs> Could put him on a hook. Put him down for a grouper. Oh. Get a big one on the wall. What'd you just catch, Dan? Look at that, look at that beautiful little strawberry grouper. Wow. Isn't he cute? You could eat him. You could. Could. You could. I don't. You want him? No, he's too small for me. Let's see if he'll, let's I would see feel. Oh, you got your squid back. Let's see if he'll live. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He's gonna be a winner. He went down downtown. All right, I'm gonna slap oh, yeah. belly hoop net went. in there. Ooh, it's been a long time since I've used this guy. Hopefully, it'll scare all these Bermuda chubs out of the way. Hey yeah. Yeah. Scatter, fools. Belly uh, hoop is in. Bermuda chubs didn't care. Oh, they're already in front of the net. What, the value? Yeah, they're fools. There's already one in it. Oh, do I, what is it? Do I take the one in the bushel, two in the, uh, one in the, hand, two in the, one in the hand or yeah, two. In the no, I want more, I'm spoiled. It's almost like they know what it is because they like to stay behind it. Although they, oh, okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. Yes, fools. There's one stuck in the net already. Two is nice, because two is like a drift. Here we go. Oh, yes. how many did I get? I don't know, but I see more than one. Three. Done. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's, that's three good baits. Nice. Let's that's... see if the live well works. Uh-oh. What do you mean, let's see if the live well uh, works? I don't even remember which button it is. Okay. There it is. Oh. It, it works! Yeah! Probably should have tested that before we uh, went fishing. Nice. It's a good looking one. Look at that. Oh, we going we gonna to be drifting good. We about to load up on bait and then we going to go fishing. Hey, Dan, you want to pull them, pull those guys in? There's a lot in front of it. I don't think there's any inside of it, though. Oh, yeah, you got a bunch. Oh, baby. Nice. What is that? Three? Four? Three? All right. 
Sense of three is perfect. Mamma mia, it's a, it's a fire sale. How many are in there? We're pretty much already good to go, but yeah, let's get some more. Yep. What'd she catch there, Dan? Oh my lord, that's a fat one. Interesting, ugly looking fish. I wish there was a commercial use for him. Wouldn't that be nice? He's he's a flopper. He's so slimy. Oh lord. I'm trying to hold him properly for some video. Alright, well, Bermuda chub. Yeah, I'm properly holding a chub. He's a flying chub, isn't he? Choo! Now we're gonna head offshore to like 130 feet. Put down some ballyhoo and we in the money. You're probably gonna want to chuck it on this side. Okay. Keep them on the hook. That is a good general rule of thumb. Go on. Alright, which one of you would like to be my slave? I choose you. <laughs> All right, circle hook. Clip on the weight. This is easy peasy fishing right here. The 12 ounce weight. To the bottom it goes. To the bottom. To the bottom. There he goes. He looks good. There's got to be kingfish out here. Look at how blue this water is. There is a fish down 40 feet. I could picture a kingfish grabbing your ballyhoo and shooting like 30 feet into the air. Oh, I'm already... Get out of here. Wait, I think I'm already getting bit. What's going on here? It feels like I have a fish. Did you get to the bottom? Oh, oh, oh. you just got yeah. hit. I just got whacked. Oh. Where, have you ever heard of hitting a hook? This could be a wahoo. Could Second. be a wahoo. Cut you, him in half. And you back. might want to, if you back. could always give him some slack. I'm back for number two. Let him finish eating it. Get it, Dan! Here we go. Oh! Come on, buddy, grab the hook. I think I lost my bait already. Cause it, I got was getting swacked and then all of a sudden it was gone. Okay, there's my weight. Oh, I got cut off. Oh, there's it's wire time. There's what? Yeah, it's wire time. There's kingfish down there. Oh, baby, they want to play. They want to play, Dan. Wire time. Time for the stinger rigs. Oh man, it is fishy out here right now. I wonder. I don't know if I get a smaller hook. That is a pretty big hook, but I mean, you know. All right, this time I am not playing around. One hook through the nose, one hook in the back. There we go. Ballyhoo on a stinger rig. Can't go wrong. Yeah, I wonder if you should have it in free spool so if they grab it, they can like finish eating it. But, look, look. okay. Really loose. You hear drag, it just means he just has it in his mouth. All right, we're chilling. Again. Now we wait for one of these rods to. Oh! Damn. Yours just got. Just got hit again. Oh! Nope. You, you, you. Oh. Oh, I'm getting nibbled. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. You're on. I'm oh, you, I'm still on. Something's messing with me. Something's on there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this time I'm gonna finesse him a little. I'm gonna be a little more gentle on him. He doesn't feel as well. Okay, okay. Wait, what the heck? Did he just let go? No, he's still got the belly in his mouth. Oh! <laughs> they can't get hooked on. <laughs> they can't get hooked. I got a kingfish. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna whip him onto here. How do I not have a gaff on the boat? That's a small kingfish. Okay, so there's a bunch of kings running around. Yeah, I want to get a big one. He's too small. He's small. I'm but, gonna... but, I mean, they're fun, but... Geez. Yeah. All right. Woo! Kingfish, baby! There's a lot of kings down there. This turned from a mutton snapper trip to a king trip. I want a big kingfish. Look, look. You think I could catch another kingfish on yeah. this torn up yeah, ballyhoo. Alright, this is a tore up ballyhoo with all the twisted 
the wires all twisted from the last two fish. Now a professional would put on a brand new bait, but <laughs> You're a challenge. You're a challenge. yeah, we like to push the human limits. Dead ballyhoo going down. Downtown it goes. Right after I get that knot out of the tip. All right, now it's going down. You're definitely gonna get slammed on that thing. You got head. to. Stinger tip will serve your rod perfect. They know exactly what to chew around. Now let's see what we can do here. Maybe we can put him on here. I'd like to put him on here, but we can't do that. I was getting nibbles there. You know, we could turn this engine off actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, enjoy some peace and quiet. Uh, oh, I'm getting bit. I got a fish on. Fish on, baby. Another fish on. This, this isn't a kingfish. Fighting a little better, a little different. It's kind of fighting like well, a, a on, like right? a snapper, yeah. Maybe like a yellowtail, mutton, grouper. It's coming to the surface. What the heck? Another kingfish. What? Oh boy, I gotta keep my drag loose here. I guess I'll just flake them up on here. These are small kingfish. I would feel bad smoking that kingfish right there. No, get back in here. Look how bad he feels. That part out. Yeah. Oh. Man, he swam away looking pretty okay. And has got something good on. Ooh. Did you get him like near the middle or no, bottom? No, not, not actually on the bottom. On the bottom. He could be a mutton. Yeah, it could be. Ooh. That looks like a nice fish. Oh. Hopefully there's no sharks yeah, around. The, yeah, hopefully there's not a shark. Uh, do I have a gaff? Yeah, what are we like doing? I don't have an emergency gaff. An emer we need an emergency gaff. You know, this could be crazy, but I do have this what that I- it? What is it? Uh, like, that. I could shove it into him. Like if he's on the side of the boat, I could. Yep. Oh, what the? Is that a grouper? Holy shit, Dan. Is that a big grouper? Oh, that's a big ass grouper. Oh, yeah, he is. A big red. Oh. That is a huge red grouper. Damn. Right, should be able to grab him. Dang, and we're so close to being in season. I know, right? Wow. Uh, I think it's old one. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's an old wound yeah, on there, huh? I mean, it's not that old, because it's, but it is healed and it's jagged looking. Wow. Nice jig you got there. Nice jig, right? There he is. Yeah, the jig. That's the winner for the day. All right. So I'm glad we got the venting tool, and we're going to just let him go, and hopefully he takes off. Hell, he'll take off, all right. All right, and here's our, here's our weight to get him down. Yeah, right. Okay. Wow. Grouper's back down on the bottom. We're going to send out another ballyhoo. I really want to get a big kingfish. Now all of a sudden that's all I want. I don't care about anything else. <laughs> all right, I'm going to keep this ballyhoo at mid column because I think that's where the 60 pound kingfish is. How do we get a 60 pounder on the boat without a gaff? We're going to bring him over one side of the boat, tail wrap him. Get any kind of rope? Yeah, I got some rope. <laughs> tail wrap that sucker. We're going to be like cowboys. All right, I got a lasso ready. There we go. That's our lasso. Hope you're ready. <laughs> yeah, you want an egg? I'm just gonna have one for now. I'm gonna be a gentleman. It's a blue egg. Oh, that's cool. Easter egg chicken. Cool. It's a self-painted egg. We should have a bite by now. Yeah, where's the bite at? It feels like there's a fish on. Honestly, a, a purple heart. A, a butterfly ballyhoo probably wouldn't be a bad idea to send down. Could be some big yellowtail down there. What's going on here? Huh? Oh my. What the heck? That looks like the work of a trigger fish or something. Completely destroyed all my stuff. Think something grabbed my uh, Jackson, Jackson. butterfly ballyhoo. Yeah, come on, buddy. Are you a fish? Or a figment of my imagination. Sure. Yes, come on, take it, take it. Something's got it. It's got to be a trigger fish or something. Am I on? Am I on? I think I'm on. Oh, that looks good. 
Am I on? Ah, I can't tell. I might not be on. Okay, what do we have? Is that a yellow? Wait. Ha! I see. The proverbial penile fish. Oh. I like where you grab them like that. There. Yeah, that's a that big right? old... The big old, uh, all right, they called penis fish or are they dick fish? Yeah, well. <laughs> oh, hey. wow, slippery dick, that's what they're called. Oh, gotcha. I just was reminded why they're called that. Something is taking line, but it's it doesn't want to get hooked. Oh, they chewed it all off. I'm telling you, that's triggered, man. Oh. You got triggers, my friend. I got triggered. Big, big triggers. These triggers are going to trigger me. Trouble, trouble in River City. Come on. We need this fish. Eat it. It's not hooked. Go back for it, buddy. I think that fish got away. Oh. It's messing with it. That is such a weird shake. Oh, I think it stole my ballyhoo again. Wow. Ooh, Mangled. Mangled, mangled. Why they don't see those. Something's messing with us. Totally destroyed this stinger egg. Okay, we have switched from stinger egg back to circle hook. Maybe that'll turn the bite on. All right. All right let's see, let's see. You know what? I uh, don't have a net or a gaff on the boat. Why, why would we? Come on. Why would we? Your hook is probably might be too big. All right, let's see what I got on here. All right, weight is off. What do we got? Oh! Oh, he broke off! No, I shouldn't have put it to him like that. No, I should have finessed him more. Oh, yeah, these these smallest stinger hooks. You, I need to have looser drag. Just slurp it down. Come on! Bend over! Bend over! Yes, yes! Doing the wiggle back. If it would just something it's something's messing with it but i needed to swallow it that rod needs to be full on bent over yeah. it's got to be a small fish if it's doing that like a yeah. a little trigger fish is slowly devouring the ballyhoo oh we don't have much time left nope. and we don't have any fish on the boat it's beautiful though. very pretty no we're the only boat out here what afternoon. what do they know that we don't know oh maybe that's it I think that was a fish, because that was a, that was a, a that rod balance. was like, almost like something hit the weight. Is my fish still on there? Damn, man, what was that? The day's been full of that. It's already 710. Probably need to head out, because I don't know if my lights work. I should have kept those kingfish. What was I thinking? I want to get a big one. He's too small. Kingfish, baby! <laughs> All right, that's line of the day. I was just like, wow, what an abundance of fish out here. I'll keep throwing back till I get the 40 pounder. Uh, yep, the ungrateful gods came out. They were like, hey, you know what? They, they sure did put me in my place. <laughs> the ungrateful gods? <laughs> the ungrateful gods. Oh, man. You sent one back to die. Do I send them down again or no? There's probably no point in sending them back down there is yeah this is i've caught a lot of kingfish in this area oh there's a big turtle this is um the horse the horse spot we were at earlier oh this is your wreck gotcha i was thinking you want to drop something down real quick yeah, you know. Never give up, man. Never give up. Never give up. Never and then maybe throw a chunk of ballyhoo down there. See if we can't get a fish here. Oh no. I got caught. I got stuck on the bottom. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, no, no. It's just one of those days. <laughs> oh. No, I'm going to let it get tight and let it break off. Oh. There we go. All right, you know what? I think that's a wrap. That's a, that's a sign, right? There. Yeah, that's a sign, all right.
Well, the seaweed is ev everywhere. And I don't see how this is gonna, how does this get flushed out? Do y'all see all that seaweed? This is the most seaweed I think I've ever seen in front of my house. Holy shit. The John boat does not like seaweed. Maybe we'll find a little Pablo Escobar treat in all this weed. Wow, yeah, there's weeds everywhere. I will say, I still got my docking skills. Yes, you do. Woo! Smooth like, like Amish butter. There's a butt, or a bird wiggling its butt over there. You see that? Why is it doing that? On the dock? Yeah. He's twerking. I got seaweed all over my prop. Holy seaweed, look at all that weed. You think that we can eat seaweed? Sure, for the whole summer it's gonna be like that. I could shake these weeds into a bucket and catch all the little critters and put them in my fish tank. Well, this is the part of the episode where we would have been doing a catch and cook, especially since the fact that I caught two perfectly good kingfish, but I threw them back because I wanted a bigger kingfish. And um, well, now I have to punish myself or else I'll never learn my lesson. Like, how does the old saying go? Don't leave fish to find fish or However it goes, you know, if you catch something good to eat and you throw it back, hoping it's gonna give you karma for an even bigger fish. Don't know if the world works like that. So what I'm gonna do to remind myself, I need to make cooking episodes because my fans wanna watch cooking. When I screw myself over, I have to punish myself. And I think 12 eggs is a good punishment. Oh my God, this is a terrible idea. Good news though, I had a great time fishing with Dan. We got a lot of fishing trips coming up. My boat is finally like back in action. It still has some small issues, but we're working them out. Just a couple of kinks, no big deal. All right, 12 eggs might actually be a bit of an overkill. I, sh I probably should have just done like two. <laughs> there we go. 12 eggs and a pretty big pitcher. Even if this was just water, this would be a hard chug. So I, I don't know if I can do this, but I'm gonna try. I've never chugged this many raw eggs before, but uh, bottoms up. Please hit the like button. Oh my, all right. <sighs> Lord have mercy on me. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next fishing video. Cheers.